This was one of those times where I had a perfectly good lesson worked out, all written, ready to go. But while reading that gospel, I knew it was insufficient. Christ, Christ told me, write this. This is what you need to teach on. This is what he told me while he comforted me. He knows how often, how bloody often I cry during the proclamation of the gospel. This gospel is quite often called the healing of St. Peter. You recall during the Passion of the Christ, Peter denied Jesus three times. That is why Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? He couldn't do it just once. He had to do it the same number of times that Peter had denied him. He had to heal each one of those denials. So for each denial, he had to have John, excuse me, he had to have Simon Peter say, Yes, Lord, I love you. And each time he called him, he did not call him by his name that Christ calls him, Peter, but he called him by his baptismal name, Simon, son of John. That is his formal address. And that way, Simon Peter knew the Lord was most serious because you do not call someone Simon, son of John, their full name, unless you are being most serious with them. So he says, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And then the next time he says, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And then the third time he says it exactly the same way. Simon, son of John, do you love me? And each time after, Peter answers. Jesus says, uh, gives him an order. The first order, feed my lambs. The second order, tend my sheep. In the third order, feed my sheep. What he is in effect doing with those three orders is giving Simon Peter his flock. Because what you do with a flock, you tend the lambs. You feed the sheep and you tend the flock. So with those three, or sorry, feed the lambs, tend the sheep, and feed the sheep, those three orders are in effect saying, you now have my flock. He has with those three orders, said Simon Peter, you are now in command of my charge. But if there was any any who doubted. He said the final two words to him. Follow me. This is Peter becoming the first bishop and the first pope of the church, the new church of Christians. 
This is also Jesus signing Peter's death warrant and noting his style of death. When you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Follow me. That is to say, Peter would be crucified as Christ was crucified, but he is not crucified upright. He is crucified upside down. For Jesus knew he had to strengthen Peter to be able to hand him the church he had created with his death. Jesus knew how very weakened Peter felt, how sorrowful, how very filled with remorse he was for thrice denying his Savior. But Peter never believed he was worthy of being in charge. This made him the perfect shepherd. Because the others often thought about who was greatest, about who should sit on Christ's right and Christ's left in heaven, where their mothers did. <laughs> Good Jewish mothers. But Peter never argued this because he never felt worthy. And he felt less worthy after the day of the condemnation and the crucifixion. He felt so unworthy. He felt lower than dart. He knew that when he looked up, he would see the belly of a worm. He was so low. His sins for condemning his Savior would never be forgiven. Until this day, when the Lord Jesus himself forgave him and healed him. So when you read this gospel or hear this gospel read to you, remember, when you are hurt or hurting, as Peter was hurt and hurting. Christ will heal you every time. Christ will never let you, one of his beloved lambs, remain broken. Remain hard. Remain needing his words, his touch, his voice to heal them. Listen for his voice when you are hurting. Listen with your heart, for he is there. That is why I voice him. This is not my voice when I speak his words. It is his voice coming through my body. It is truly the Christ, for he is here with me. Praise God. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And when, if ever, you are in such pain and you feel so broken that you need the touch of Jesus, may you turn to him and feel his healing words and his healing touch.